Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can define your own shape data and then use that data to generate reports into Excel. So first of all, I'm going to get myself a basic flowchart diagram template. So I'll click on that one and I'll use a blank option, create. So the stencil appears, these shapes have already got shape data defined. If I pull on a process shape, for example, just have a look at it. So at the moment you can't actually see much if I just make this a bit bigger. So there's just a small rectangle there. You've got the size and position window, I'll just knock that off. But if I go to the view tab at the top there, and activate the the shape data window this is the shape data that's allocated to this particular shape if i bring on the start finish one it's the same information but obviously it's not relevant a lot of it's not going to be relevant for a start process i'll just delete that one off now if you want to add to this or delete from this list you have to get into a shape and then you make the adjustments but that will only apply to this shape that's on the screen. If you want the changes that you make to be for other shapes, you'll have to do something slightly different, which I'll show you in a second. But if I right click on this, you've got down the bottom there data, and then you've got shape data, which is on at the minute, and then define shape data, which is what I want to click on. And then you see this list at the bottom there. So whatever you don't want, you can just click on it and delete it. So I'll delete that. Um, I don't want owner. I don't want, I do want function actually. I'll leave that on. Start date, end date. So on and so on. Status. That's got a, a drop down list. So all of that I can leave on. I'm going to create a new one. I'll just call it name because there isn't one called name i'll give it a name so you go new and at the top there you can label it name and you can set what type of data it's going to be this is going to be text you can give it a default value i don't really need to you can also give it a prompt if it's not obvious and then you've got this sort key now you need to put a number in there if you want that to be at the top which i do i won't click okay to that i'll, I'll love cost second so I'll put cost second no, not every version of Visio has this. And then I'll have function, so like HR admin third. Everything else will just follow on in, in the order it sees. If I click OK to that, that should have just changed around like that. So you've got the name, cost, function, the three I told it to be, one, two, three. And then you've got start date, end date, and so on and so on. Now, if I pull on another one of these process shapes, like so, it defaults back to the original list. It's just this one that I've edited, which is slightly irritating. So this is what you have to do. If I just get rid of that one for a second, this is the one I want to keep. I need to add it into my own stencil and then use that stencil. So from more shapes, you've got down the bottom here, new stencil. And I'll just open it up like that. You drag this into there. And then you give it a name it comes up with that master thing just call it process i'll call it process a so i've named that and then i can save this and i can just call this stencil it'll go into my shapes on your computer i'll just call this process stencils process stencils or whatever you want to call it you just give it a name and then what you'd have to do is Basically edit each of these the types that you've got at the top that you think you're going to use like the start finish You're just going to drag that on there do the same sort of thing edit and then drag it into your personal stencil like so Bit of a long-winded process, but once you've done it you can just use it forever and ever and then if I pull this one on now That's going to have the edited list that I've got there look and this is ready to fill in so if I put my name in there, for example, 
Steve Saxton. And cost for this process is 100. And the function is HRC. And the start date is, you've got a calendar there at the end there, but you can type a date in there. I'll put today's date in there. And the finish date for this would be, don't actually need to put a finish date in there, but you can do. And the status is not started. So that information is all on that shape. And I pull another shape out like so. And that is ready to go again. Now the connector tool is not on there, so I'll just do a connection for these two. Straight down. There they are. I've actually got them on there, but these shapes are not the shapes that you would edit. They'll be the, these ones, so you just have to be careful about that. Back to this one. Get rid of that. So what I want to do now is I want to send this into... Excel. So I want to send these into Excel. So I need to go to review and then you've got shape report. So I'll click on that and you've got two options. I'll go for the top one. You can actually create your own. It says new there that you can create your own and add your own fields. Now, because I've edited these, if I go as it is now, it's not going to have that, this field here that I created. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to use the new feature and it's on shapes on current page yet. Yeah. I'll go next. So it gives me all this big list now of different shapes. So I can tick things on and off how I see fit. If I come right down to the bottom, I should have all the fields that we've done. So I want name, I want start date and end date. And I want status and I want cost and I want function. So I want all of them. Show all properties. That's a massive list of different properties for these. I don't want that. Go next. I'll call it Steve. And if there's any calculations, I've got, um, I suppose I've got cost there. So maybe I should put a subtotal for cost. Um, count total cost that i'll do and then i'll go next that's the actual report name and finish and then it sits there in this list with all the other ones and then when you want to run it you click on run and then it gives you the option to send it into excel or one of these other options i'm going for excel i'll click ok it's not going to be a massive report there's only one record filled in so it's filled it in now that give you the information and there's a total look for that cost column at the end there and it's generated into an excel spreadsheet so i'll come back into visio if i filled this one and i'd have to run that report again but because it's already um, i'll just do that actually i'll just put a figure in there and um call it admin won't bother with anything else I'll just run that report again so if i go rev um Review, run report, it should still be there. Click on that, run, Excel. And it's added that up again and it's listed the function. So it's quite a little cool feature, shape data. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can create your own shape data list, change the order around, add or remove elements, and then customize shapes themselves and have them in your own stencil so hopefully that video was of use thank you for your time i'll catch you the next one